I think, you know, Wales will go for this game, but England's got to win this. Is football coming home? Hello guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to yet another video. Today, we are looking into the final games in Group B at World Cup 2022. It's going to be interesting as all four teams have a chance of getting through this group and all four teams also have the possibility of not being able to get through this group. Two of them will, two of them won't. Who will go through? Get your thoughts down below. Do make sure to drop a like and subscribe and I've also got a special guest getting his thoughts in. Let's head over to see what Callum the Dragon thinks will happen at the very end of Group B. Yes, ma'am. Matt, hope you're good, mate. Thank you for having me back on the channel. Here to predict the Wales versus England game. First of all, a preview. So Wales not coming into this game really in good form. Uh, you know, the it's a good draw against the USA, you suppose. But bad first half, good second half. Um, and Iran, what what happened there? They got dominated for the full 90 minutes. So I think you know Wales will go for this game, but. England's got to win this, you know, to win the group. But Wales will go for it. I'm going to go England three, Wales one. Goal scorers, by the way. Gareth Bale for Wales. Goal scorers for England. Kai Saka, Jude Bellingham. And I think Maguire will get ahead of Very interesting to get Cal the Dragons take as an England fan and I feel like he's feeling more confident than me. Now if England win the game, they win the group. The other game doesn't matter but the other game is on at the same time and it could have bearings on what happens in this game. Now let's start with if England win, it doesn't matter what happens in the other game. Wales are out, England win the group. If we go over to the other game, if Iran win, then like I say, England need to win to cement that top spot because Iran would go up to six points. That will send them through and possibly top if England don't win. Now if the other game's a draw, England will be fine with a draw. We'd also be fine losing by a couple of goals, which is quite interesting. Um, yeah, like I say, Iran's goal difference is damaged. Wales' goal difference is damaged. England's goal difference is very good. Um, so we'd have to lose by four goals, I think, to then not go through top as well. So, you know, we should be fine in that instance. Um, now, if USA win, England need a draw. So we'll be keeping an eye on that game. But like I say, England's job is just win and we're through. Now, the other game does have more bearings for Wales. Now, Wales need to beat England and they need a draw in that game. They need a draw. Like I say, if USA win, they can't catch USA. If Iran win, they can't catch Iran. Now, the other game won't matter if Wales win by four goals, that way they could overtake England and jump into the top two. But realistically, do Wales win this game by four goals? I don't think so. I think it's going to be interesting. I'm going to keep my powder dry and say my prediction is saved for my predictions video coming out on Monday night. But this is very interesting. Like I say, Wales are in a very precarious situation. They need to win and hope. Um, like I said, the only way they can cement it themselves is by winning by four goals. And, you know, it's not going to happen, is it? Um, I'm not going to rule out that Wales could win this game. I just don't think they could win by four goals. As for England, like I say, I want to top the group because if we top the group, um, it sends out a statement. And we're probably going to avoid Netherlands if we top the group. We can't be sure what's going to happen in Group A, but I'd imagine Netherlands beat Qatar comfortably and top that group. Therefore, the runners up from Group B will probably face Netherlands. Now, that's probably the situation so England obviously first things first get through the group but like I say we're in a position where we can wrap it up we can win this group I must say going into the Wales game my confidence is misplaced now after the Iran game I was feeling super confident against USA the game was really bad it was just not very good and uh, do you know what I didn't mention in that vlog I did the other day if anyone should have won it I think it should have been USA they hit the bar uh, I wouldn't say Pickford was particularly busy, but their keeper certainly didn't have to do much. So, yeah, you know, it, it, it'd have been a lesson to us if we'd have lost that game. But, yeah, we'll take nil-nil anyway. You know, defensively, we were better if we're going to try and take any positives. But going into this Wales game, it is interesting. We want to get back on track going into the knockout games because if we just bundle our way through this group, if we trip over the line by losing 1-0 or drawing nil-nil, then... To be honest, I don't have much confidence in us to beat any team in the next round. Even if it's Ecuador or Senegal, they could fancy their chances against an out-of-form England. So we want to get back on track with confidence. It's not just about, you know, topping the group. I want to send out a statement and get the confidence back in the team. Do I think we'll do it? Like I say, I'll save my prediction for then. But Cal the Draken certainly thinks we will. So... Very big. Get your predictions down below. England versus Wales. USA versus Iran. Um... 
if I was to give a very vague prediction, I think England and Iran are probably going to get through this group. Like I say, it's it's in their hands as the top two. Uh, but USA do have a, an outside chance. Wales, a very outside chance. But... We'll have to wait and see how it plays out on Tuesday night. Get your predictions in, as I say. Do make sure to drop a like. Do make sure to also hit that subscribe button to be notified. We'll try and reach 23,000 subscribers in December. Thank you for your great support, guys. I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.